What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're showcasing an all-time favorite spider in the Pokemon universe. We're showcasing Galvantula today. Now Galvantula, really cool Pokemon that returned in the Indigo Disc DLC, now comes into ranked battles. And this Pokemon's main purpose is speed control. It's got Thunder Wave. Mm. What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're showcasing an all-time favorite spider in the Pokemon universe in Ranked Regulation F. Today, we are rocking out with Galvantula. Now, Galvantula made its return to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet in the Indigo Disc DLC, and it is here today for speed control, and pretty much speed control only. It's got Thunder Wave and Sticky Web, one for Paralyzes, the other one for Speed Drops, and then it has Thunder and Protect. It's a really cool Pokemon, cannot wait to speed control our way to victory. Galvantula also has compound eyes to make Sticky Web and Thunder Wave land more often, and it has the Focus Hash so it doesn't die out in one shot, considering its defensive stats and HP aren't too high. It definitely needs Focus Hash, so that's why we have it today. But Galvantula, super cool Pokemon, cannot wait to make it viable in today's video. But this team also features a bunch of other cool Pokemon, such as Entei and Incineroar, two Pokemon that are top tier in the meta. We also have Landorus, Latias, again, two Pokemon that are top tier in the meta. And then last but not least, we have Registeel on today's team. Now, Registeel is a lot of fun to use. If you get him out at the right time in the right instance, you can set up a big time Iron Defense. And then if you're going up against physical attackers, they're pretty much not KO and Registeel. This thing gets super super bulky, super quick, and on top of that, it has body press to actually take those defense boosts and turn them into attack power. So, really, really cool. If you guys want to rent the scene for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner, and if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Galvantula. Hopping into our first match, going up against an Archaludon, top tier match squad. They got Chiyu, they got Fluttermane. Two Pokemon that pair up perfectly with each other. They got Tornadus to pair up with the Arch Ludon. They set the rain, and then last but not least, they got Ogre Pond and Wilbur. Two very, very strong Pokemon. But who should we lead here? I kind of want to go into the Galvantula. I love this Pokemon. Super cool. Love its speed stat, too. Its special attack's not bad, too. Plus, they do have Rain Dance. So if they do end up setting the Rain Dance, Galvantula could just thunder freely. And that's something I really like. So I'm going to lead Galvantula. So Galvantula is going to come out here for our lead. I might lead it with the Lando because I kind of, kind of like the Lando. But if they, they do bring like Chiyu and Fluttermane, we could have a little bit of a problem. But Registeel's not bad for that combo. Registeel, what's your Terror deck? Fairy? Not bad. Not bad. You know what? I'm going to go, huh. I just go Incineroar here. She got cooking for us, Incineroar. Fake out, knock off, parting shot, Flutter Blitz. That's not bad. No, I think we need more attackers. So I'm going to go Lando, Entei, and then in the back end, bring in Sinor. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. But I wonder who they're going to lead. Most likely, I'm thinking Tornadus and Archaludon. That's kind of why I brought in the Sheer Force Landers if they want to bring them in. I don't mind it too much. I can just get rocking. They can't really pop any Electro Shots into me, so that's something I like. And then from there, I can pop Sticky Webs. I can throw some Paralyzes on the floor. I can do a lot. I can do a lot. But Galvantula, using the Spider today. Love the Spider. Let's see who they end up leading. It is going to be torn out as an which, again, I don't mind. I do not mind. I don't mind at all. So, from here, I could just start popping thunders. I think I might just throw a sticky web onto the field. It will lower the speed when they swap into battle, so I think that's going to be a good call for us. And then from there, we could pop an earth power. Which I'm going to do. I'm going to pop an earth power. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to throw an earth power, so... Rain Dance is going to come out here. That's fine. I wonder what Arch Ludon going to go for here because he can't really Electro Shot and get boosted here. And at this point, I get a nice little sticky web on the floor. So every time they hop into battle, they're going to get a nice little speed drop. Earth Power is going to fly across here with Sheer Force and just wipe this Pokemon out. Come on, man. Arch Ludon, get on out here. Now you just set up my Galvantula. Galvantula can freely thunder here. And I think that's what my play is going to be. Because now they're going to swap into probably, I don't even know, to be honest. Ogre Pond comes out here. That's fine, he's going to get caught in the sticky web and lower its speed. So chances are, uh, Tornadus is going to pop a Tailwind here, correct? And at this point, I can just go into a Thunder, and I could Terrastalize you into Poison if I want to. And that is also looking good. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And we're just going to go after you. Terra Poison, stick with the Thunder, now let's apply some attack pressure here. We get an after. We get an after. We get after it. So hopefully they're not thrash slashing. Because if they're not, 
There's some big time damage coming out on the floor. So I go into the poison terror type just to dodge that water weakness that we now have with Ivy Cudgel in the rain. Maybe we can survive a shot. And they're also going to throw out Slash. They're going to put the mask on the Ogapon, which isn't too bad considering I still have Galvantula ready to roll with Thunders. And I still have Focus Ash, which is good. And I, again, I think they set up a tail in here, more so than anything. They're going to embody Aspect. You're going to get that plus one special defense boost, which is really good for them. And there is the Tailwind. So again, I'm still going to have Focus Ash next turn. That's lovely. Plus Sledge Bomb should be able to chunk up a little bit of damage. Ivy Cudgel going to fly here. And that should be going after, yeah, my Landers. So Lando, I think you should soak, right? You don't. Was that a crit? No, you just got dumped on. You just got dumped on. You just got dumped on. Okay, that's fine. The Thunder's going to fly here. It's going to rip up into you and Galvantula picks up a KO. So now's a perfect time to actually bring out Incineroar. <clears throat> and maybe start attacking the... The what's it called? The... Ooh, you got you. You got to get faked out. You have to be faked out. You have to be faked out. Okay, so they're going to get caught in Sticky Web, which is huge. So both of them are minus one. Intimidate's going to work wonders here as well, which I love. Lovely little intimidate on two physical attackers. That's big time. So from here, we are just going to go into a thunder into this slot. And we are just going to fake out the will slide. Just because he has fake out, we don't really want him faking out any of our Pokemon. I think they might go for Oh wow, you actually outspeed us still. Which is a little crazy. But I didn't want him going for spiky shield, so this actually works out fine. You can pick up the KO all day onto my Who are you going after? My Galvantula? Okay. I actually like that a bit more. I have Focus Ash. I have a lovely Focus Ash, and I'm surprised you're outspeeding me. Oh, you have Tailwind. I totally forgot you have Tailwind. But Thunder now flies here, doing some big time damage. That damage we love. We love that damage. So Galvantula sitting here. We're hoping their Tailwind ends rather soon. So I would love to actually just like protect here. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. But then Grass Guy can actually get after me. Oh, we don't like Grass Guy at all. We don't like Grass Guy at all. They got two turns off the Tailwind anyway. Wow, a lot of things going on here. A lot of things going on here. I'm going to go for the Thunder Wave here. And if I can get off this knockoff, that would be nice. But this is scary, because Grass Guy's going to fly here, and then they're just going to Ivy Cudgel us. Oh, man. This is actually real tough news for us. This is real tough. Yeah, because we're dead. Dude, this thing is ripping into us. This thing is ripping. We're playing good to our Galvantula. Just I think we should have saved our terror type, to be honest with you. We should have saved our terror type. It would have been so nice to have, like, an ante right here. It really would have. Because I don't think e speed KOs now. I think it's minus one on attack, too. Yeah, I would have loved to have this. We had the Assault Vest, which is good. I don't think e speed KOs. That's my problem. And I kind of needed to KO. I kind of needed to KO. The one turn left in Tailwind. If we can actually pick up this KO, we should be fine with winning this match. But I wonder what they're going to do here. We have Vest. Vest isn't going to do anything. e going to fly here. And it leaves them on one. We lose to a nice, lovely one HP band. What a way to start today's video. Love this game. Love this game so much. Love this game so much. But I definitely should have saved my Terra knowing I'm going up against a green squad. But come on, man. Galvantula thrived out match number one. There's nothing I love more than losing to a one HP band. Come on, man. We would have taken out that uh that Ivy Cudgel Ogre Pond. We would have won no problem. That Roll Boom couldn't really do enough damage to my Entei to really get thrived. But that one's on me. I probably should have brought Latios instead of Entei. We could have actually thrived out a little bit better there. But it'd be like that sometimes. But second match is here. Shen Pao, Skelly Dirge team. Skelly Dirge is really cool. Um, they got Urshfu as well with Ogre Pond, Iron Hands, and Flood. I mean, Galvantula, not going to be shabby here. I kind of want to lead it just so I can start throwing paralyzes left and right. And on top of that, I kind of want to lead maybe like a fake out user. I could go fake out and then just start spamming paralyzes. That wouldn't be a bad idea. I actually like Reggie Steel here. I think Reggie Steel's a solid Pokemon with a defense bulks. And I actually might not even bring Galvantula here. I might just go like Incineroar or Reggie Steel. That's something I actually really like. And then on top of that, we could bring Lando and Entei. I mean, that gives us the same problem where we can die out to that Ivy Cudgel Pokemon. But I still think that's fine. I like this. I actually really like this. 
and something I really like. So we're going in with a bit of a different squad. Kind of same squad, just swapping out Galvantula for Reggie Steel. So Reggie Steel's going to get after it here in uh, match number two. Looking to pop a nice little iron defense. Considering, again, they have a lot of physical attackers. I know Urshfu can crit through. But Reggie Steel's just so good. Especially up against Flutter Means. And really get after it. I'm a little worried about their Skelly Dirge, though. They're going to go into both of these guys. So both of these guys are going to come out here. Um... I think best play would just be to fake out the Urshfu. And do we set up an Iron Defense? I think we set up an Iron Defense here. Because there's a hot shot that, that Flutter Main either swaps or protects. Right? So I think Iron Defense is going to be our play. We are just going to fake out the Urshifu. And then we'll get after it that way. Right? There's no way Flutter Main stays on the field with a heavy slam Pokemon ready to roll. I wouldn't do it. I'd protect that thing. I'd, I'd do something. I, I, I would not be having it. So we're really hoping he just swaps... We get a free Iron Defense uh, boost up here. We shall see. But to be honest, Urshifu is scaring me. Urshifu is definitely scaring me with all of its bulks, all that good stuff. Well, not its bulks, its critical hits, I should say. It's just looking scary. Let's see what they end up doing. Go ahead, swap the Flutter Main. Make your move, swap the Flutter Main into something that I can take care of. Or just protect. Yeah, that works. Cool. So they end up protecting the Flutter Main. We love it. Fake out's gonna chip up some damage and on top of that pick up the flinch. And guess what I'm doing? I'm bulking up the defense. I'm not playing around here. I'm not playing around here. So now could be the turn to actually attack the Flutter Man if I want to. It could be. And I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna heavy slam you. And I might swap into hmm. Tough swapping. I might actually terrasalize you. I'm gonna terrasalize this thing and just go for a knockoff here. Take off this thing's item. Deal a little bit of damage. I could actually double down. I hmm. there's no way Flutter Main's going for a fairy move here. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna attack this thing, take off its item. I probably should double down into Urshfu here, because I think Flutter Main's gonna swap. Most likely, right? I would hope so. Yeah, I, I should have done that. I should have doubled down to Urshfu. It was a pretty simple read for me, right? It was pretty simple. And they're gonna go into Ogi. So the Ogi comes out here. We're putting a nice big time Terra on our Incineroar here, just so Surgeon Strikes has to do a ridiculous amount of damage to him. Plus, they might be going after my. They might be going after my Regis Steel. They might be. We'll see. Nope, they're going after you, and that is a perfect little Terra for us. I'm able to do all this, and I'm just going to go after Urshfu next turn. Urshfu's posing. Big time threat to me. Big time threat. Might, I might actually parting shot too. Body press part and shot. Because knockoff's gonna come out here and what are you holding? Mystic water, maybe? Yes, so that takes off the mystic water, which is big time. Heavy slam's gonna fly here. Do a not very effective shot and chip up some damage. So from here, I'm just gonna stick with the body press right into this slot. And I'm gonna parting shot into the ogre pond slot. Try to lower that thing's attack. So I want my intimidate for late game. I can go into Lando after this, something I like, or I could just go into my Entei with E speed. Depending on what HP Urshifu would be at. I think I should go into Entei anyway. But he ends up withdrawing Urshifu, which is totally fine. I'm going into Body Press in this slot. You're going back into Flutter Main? That'd be a weird call, right? That's a great call, but it is weird. Real great call. Real gr great call. And then they Spiky Shield on top of that. So now's time to probably just hard swap. We'll probably be the hard swap Entei or uh, Incineroar. And then maybe go for Heavy Slam? Or do I read a Protect here? Because I can. I can iron defense up here again. Which I think I'm gonna do. And swap into maybe. Mm, who do I swap into here? I'm definitely gonna iron defense up here again. There's no way that Flutter Main stays on the field. I'm gonna swap an Ente. I'm gonna swap an Ente. I'd be super surprised that Flutter Main doesn't protect again. Let's see. He's gonna terrestrialize. You put on the mask? No, you're terrestrializing Flutter Main here. Real weird. Are you not fairy type? You are. So you're just looking to attack me here. Wow, I should just heavy slam. I should just heavy slam, but good thing I do have a nice little swap here. That's something I'm gonna fly here. I should have just taken that thing out. I should have just taken him out, but e even, even with that, um, we soak up pretty well. I because you're gonna come across here. No crits allowed. Okay, we soak. We soak all day. Iron defense. Bulking up again. 
So we get the big time bulk up here. Um, get left there, just going. And now I'm going to heavy slam into that flutter me. Now I'm heavy slamming into that flutter me. If he wants to attack me again, that's totally fine. And from here, uh, look at it. Maybe just do that. Or I could hard swap back into Incineroar. But I don't think that would be my best bet. I'm going to go for Sacred Fire here. I'm going to go for Sacred Fire. Maybe I should just E-Speed. But they end up just withdrawing the Flutter main again. So I'm going to get some leftovers HP. We'll see what Ogre Pond wants to do here. Are they going to Ivy Cudgel? Or are they going to stick into my Reggie Steel here? Spiky Shield comes out of here. That's fine. That'd be fine. I think I'm going to hard slap back into Incineroar at this point. And just keep going from there. So how much damage is this Heavy Slam going to do to this thing? <laughs> like nothing like nothing i do get some leftovers of hp which is gorgeous um i might go after ogre pond at this point i might go after ogre pond at this point or i could stick with the body press there i doubt they hard swap back into fluttermane here yeah i'm gonna go into i'm gonna swap into incineroar i'm gonna drop their attack they're probably looking to go for a surge of strikes for the crits and they might just double down to reggie steel which would be a big time problem because the crits just do me dirty. Our opponent's swapping in and out really well. We got to match that energy. So Incineroar coming out here for us. Looking to get going with this Reggie Steel. And what are they going to do? There's no way they swap back into Flutterbeam, right? I just don't think they're going to do that. He's going to Aqua Jet. Totally fine. I'm about that. I'm about that. And Ivy Cudgel's going to fly into the slot as well. Cool. So great swap for us. Beautiful swap for us. Now we have Fake Out ready to go. Citrus Berry is eating. That's a big turn for us. That's a big time turn for us. Because I'm going to also get Leftovers HP for my Reggie Steel again. Body Press cooking. Bye bye, Urshifu. Get it on out my face. I'm not dealing with it. I'm not dealing with it. So right now, if they go Flutter Main, we know that uh, Ogre Pond's going to Spiky Shield just to dodge Fake Out. And at that point, I might just swap. I might just swap just to save my boy. So let's see who they end up going into. They're gonna go back into the Fluttermane. So you gotta be actually we could fake it out. We could fake it out. And you know what? I'm just gonna go for a heavy slam here because I know you can't KO me. And I'm just gonna fake out you, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna fake out you. You could go for double protect. They end up just withdrawing the ogre palm, which is totally fine. And they're gonna show their final Pokemon, which is going to be who? Who's your final Pokemon? It's gonna be Shen Pao. So I get to take off Focus Ash on Shen Pao, which is actually a pretty big deal. Definitely a pretty big deal. And they're not gonna protect, which is massive. So no protect comes out here. Dazzling Gleam is gonna finish off off the Incineroar. But I take a little bit of a trade action, which is good for us. We get a, we get on the trade train. We get the trade up. We get the trade up with a plus four Reggie Steel. So Reggie Steel is gonna be able to heavy slam. Should finish off what I mean, no problem. No big deal at all. Get it on out of here. So now they have two very strong Pokemon paired up with Shen Pao. So Ogre Pond Shen Pao versus my squad. All right, so Reggie Steel gonna get some HP back. I love where Reggie's still sitting. They don't have Terra either, so I can one shot that Shen Pao with the body press. And from here, I could go into you, but it'd also go into you. I think I'm gonna go into Landers and I'm gonna force the shot from the Shen Pao into this slot and just protect it. Right? And then just body press the Shen Pao. Yeah, that's my best bet. Definitely my best bet. Because Lando poses a threat on the both of them. But body press is going to fly through here into the Shen Pao. They don't have Terra. And I'm just going to protect this Pokemon right here. Because they're probably looking at Lando like, hey, I can KO this thing with an Ice Move with an Ivy Cudgel. So they're probably going to attack it. Yep. Yep. Yep, good play for Jeans. As long as they don't get a crit here with Ivy Cudgel, we're fine. As long as they don't get a crit here with Ivy Cudgel. And they decided to double down in Landorus, giving us the win. No problem. I knew Reggie Steel was going to be an absolute dog in this battle. An absolute dog. Came to play. Set up two body presses. Our opponent was actually swapping in and out really, really well. But once we swapped into that Incineroar on that turn and, and uh, started getting after him and took out the Urshfu, I knew we had this one. I knew we had this one. But now it's a little 2v1. Body press, plus four on defense. Throw a nice little sludge bomb over the slot. Our opponent probably cancels, right? No. They just let the sludge bomb come in hot. Take him out, no problem. GG's. We're now sitting one and one. Let's go use Galvantula and grab ourselves a winning record. Final match is here.
Looking to use Galvanish a little bit more. Loved how we use it in match number one, but came down to the wire in that one. We ended up killing it with Registeel in match number two. So looking for the victory here in match number three. Going up against a Tornado squad with Corviknight. Really cool Pokemon. Shen Pao, Gyarados, Ogre Pond, Fluttermane, and uh, I think I named them all. Yeah, cool. Galvantula is definitely going to be our lead. I actually like it here, typing-wise. Plus, get some sticky webs off, some thunder waves. We're going to like that a lot. So I'm going to go into that slot. I am also might lead Lottie Oz. Just because if they go Tanwin, I would love to go for Tanwin as well. Its special attack is still pretty solid. I just like everything about it. So I'm going to go Latias here alongside with Galvantula. Something I like. We're going to bring in Landers in the back end. And last but not least, lean towards Entei, right? I'm leaning towards Entei. Especially for E-Speeds, all that good stuff. Definitely leaning towards that. So that's something I want to do here. Let's get after it. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number three. But I'm hoping they set the rain, right? I don't know why. I actually kind of do, kind of don't, because then they get a lot of attack power with the water moves. But Galvantula thrives in the rain with Thunder. You guys seen it in match number one. Dumping on Tornado. It's doing some big time damage to Ogre Pond. And if Ogre Pond didn't have that special defense boost, we probably would have taken it out. So, let's see who they end up bleeding. It is going to be Corviknight alongside with you. So, I am actually just going to put a nice little Paralyze on the Corviknight here. And I'm just going to Master Tailwind. Yeah, it's going to be my play. I know you have mirror armor, but... No, I can still paralyze you all day. So I'm going to throw a paralyze on you. On top of this, Tailwind, we're going to get it. We're going to get it. So I think they're going to Tailwind, so that's why I want to Tailwind. I want to match that, and then I want to start lowering speed with Galvantula. But I love Galvantula here. That's a little thunder. Pops a, he decides to pop a Rain Dance here. Okay, so Rain Dance coming across. Thunder Wave's going to fly into you. And then I get off this tail. So hopefully Corviknight loses a turn to Paralyze. That'd be pretty big. That'd be pretty big. Because now we get off this Tailwind. They don't have Tailwind. They're going to force next turn to use Tailwind. And he's just going to Brave Bird me down. No problem. No problem. Take some recoil all day. And from here, I can Thunder Wave whoever I want. I'm kind of leaning towards you, right? And then just Ice Beam this thing. Yeah, because Tornado's going to get off his turns regardless, right? Regardless, Tornadus gets off his turns. No problem. But I'd actually love to use a Sticky Web. And maybe I should have dropped the Sticky Web. To be honest, I probably should have. Because I think Corviknight's either going to Tarasalize or maybe swap out here. No, he just stays in. So Corviknight's going to be slowest on the field. They get a nice big time Thunder with Galvantia coming across. And just, oh my god, almost dumping on that. Almost dumping on it. And are you weak this policy? Come on now. You better be paralyzed this turn. You better be policy or uh, paralyzed this turn. That'd be huge. Ice Beam flies to Tornadus. Does nice half damage there. Corviknight's paralyzed. Let's go. That's huge. That's huge. So now from here, I could just protect you. And I think I'm going to do that because right now Tornadus, I believe, is faster than Latias. Yes, 100%. So he could just go for a free... A free bleak wind storm just to take out my galvantula so if i protect galvantula i can block the bleak wind storm latias can soak it up and then ice beam and finish off this thing which i like so that's exactly what i'm gonna do protect the spider protect the spooter and when it comes to the spooter i would want to get one more turn but they end up just icy which is kind of smart kind of smart more so than anything i still think latias outspeeds the corvo which is good and I'm hoping Galvantula can outspeed whoever they throw out next, right? Because if that's the case, I can throw a sticky web on the field. I can paralyze that Pokemon. Or I can just take out the Corbo. Who's paralyzed again? <laughs> Who's paralyzed again? Poor Corbo. Poor Corbo. Poor, poor Corbo. But Corbo Knight is low enough where I believe an E-Speed can take that out. And Galvantula is going to be able to outspeed this Ogre Pump, which is great. It's actually really good. Now, do I Thunder Wave that, or do I just Thunder? I think I'm going to Paralyze him. I think I'm just going to Paralyze him, and I might Heal Pulse. Actually, I'd rather just Ice Beam and finish this thing off. I do have Mist Ball, but I'm just going to go Ice Beam. I'm going to put a Paralyze on the Ogre Pond, who outspeeds me. You're outspeeding me, Ogre Pond? You're outspeeding the Spider there? You're out speeding the spider? No way. Wait, wait, let me see the spider speed real quick. 
You're out speeding that spider. My tailwind's gone. Spider, come here. You're out speeding the spider? This we both had tailwind. They're faster than 176. That's a fast ogre pond. That's a quick ogre pond. Wow. Yeah, I wanted one more turn with my spooter. Dang, man. So I still have Terra. Um, Lando's not a bad call here, and that is probably going to be my call. Go into Lando. Force them to Terra. But them in the rain just whips up on me. I might Terra normal here. That's gonna be my choice. I'm gonna I'm gonna Terra normal and just start E speeding because this first turn priority with the Entei, with the E speed can do some big time damage. But they're gonna end up going into Gardeners. Good call for us. Good call for us. I got that inner focus. I got that inner focus. So Gary the Gyarados comes out here. Um, a little problem with Gyarados is a few of them rock. Uh, a few of them will rock Ice Fang. Which I don't like at all. But I'm just gonna start doubling down this Overpon slot. Ogrepan poses a bit more of a threat. They could paralyze with Gyarados. They could do that stuff, but I think doubling down in this Ogrepan slot, I don't think it protects here. It's going to be a good call. Because I believe they're going for an Ivy Cudgel. Which is scary. That could still KO my Entei, because in, the, in this rain, it's just terrifying. But they have one turn left in Tailwind. East Speed's going to fly here. How much damage is this doing? Nice half damage. We love that damage. Ivy Cudgel's going to fly. Can you soak this, please? You do. That a boy Entei. Ice Fang does come across here. You should soak this. Okay, cool. You do soak that. And their Tailwind is gone. Oh, no. Thaw out. Thaw out, please. Thaw out. Oh, no. <laughs> That's brutal. That's brutal. That's a brutal freeze. Come on now. So... They could spiky shield. I think they are going to spiky shield. So I think I'm just going to E speed that and maybe try to go for heal pulse here. Or I could just double down to Gyarados and hope we thaw out. Because they're spiky shielding here all day. No doubt in my mind they spiky shield. Unless they're, they were choice this whole time, right? Unless they were choice this whole time. They're going to terrestrialize Gyarados here. No shot they give me the freeze here. They're gonna go ground. They're gonna go straight in the ground typing. And there's the spiky shield. So we make the read on the spiky shield. E speed. How much damage are we doing here? How much damage are we doing here, E speed? Can you thaw out? Can you can you thaw out here? If this thing thaws out, we have a hot shot at winning this match. Maybe I should have popped a tailwind. Maybe I should have went for a tailwind. But can you thaw out? What are you what are you doing being frozen here? Don't be frozen. Thaw out. Thaw out. Bruh. Bruh. Bruh 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 bruh. Alright. Okay, I understand. This is brutal. They have speed me. They have ice fang. I, I, w I would have to hope that. I, I don't even know. We're gonna have to go for sludge bomb here. I'm going for sludge bomb. I'm going for ice beam. Oh my lord, this is brutal. I have a cudgel. Can you soak? Probably not, right? No. No, we don't soak. We just don't soak. We just don't. Nice little freeze to lose us the game. We played so well today, too. Hurts the soul. We played so well today. Match number one, then it go our way. Nice little one HP bandit. And then a uh, Ice Fang freeze? Come on, man. At least I would rather lose it without the freeze, right? Give me some dignity, right? Come on, man. One and two for today's video.
There it is, ladies and gentlemen. One and two for today's video. Definitely feel like we should have had a 2-1 winning record today. Maybe even a 3-0 perfect record. But Galvantula on the rank ladder, super fun. Love using it so much. Used it in battle number one and in battle number three. And then Registeel rocked out, took its place in match number two, getting us our lonely win. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.